of course, we're disappointed uh, to lose our opening Sunbelt Conference game. Uh, we thought we had a great game plan going into this. Um, we thought we had a great chance of winning this game here at home. Um, but I think one of the things that happened that went wrong was we got in foul trouble in the first quarter. We had three starters on the bench in foul trouble the first quarter. So our st uh, second string mainly played the second quarter. Well, they got tired. We couldn't rotate those starters back in there. They had two fouls. And at the very end of the second quarter, they went on um, about 11-0 run, I believe. They, they scored a lot of layups on us behind our press before we could sub. We never were able to make that ele those 11 points up. We never, we never crawled back in there with those 11 points. So it's very disappointing. Um, a lot of times we've been able to come from behind uh, in, in tight situations. We were not able to turn the tide. This is a, this is a very good team, very well-coached team. And you mentioned you know, the transition points. They also had, you know, had an easy job you know, inside the paint. What did you see from your defense in there, and why were they able just to get inside on you? Um, first of all, they had a lot of points in the paint, 58. That's probably a record on us. But a lot of those were layups. Uh, Again, we were tired. We had our rotation off because of foul trouble. That's, that's what gave up a lot of points on layups. But in the paint, Caitlin Ramirez didn't play a lot tonight. This was not her best game. She went out first because of foul trouble. And then when she came back in, we just didn't think she was clicking. And um, so we subbed some freshman post players in there. And, um, and that was the result. We also moved Clarissa Banks, who is a guard. We moved her to the post for this game. That might have had a lot to do with it, too. She played great. We don't regret, regret that move. We probably should have made some more adjustments, though, backing her up in the post. Rachel came out and scored 11 in the first quarter, knocking down, you know, I think three from beyond the arc. What type of production can she give you? And, you know, how nice it would have been, you know, if she would you know, maybe carry that over into the second half? Yeah, we were looking for those shots in the second half. She was very hot when she first came out, and that helped us get off to a good start. Um, then she went cold in the end. So, um, and that's going to happen with shooters, but what we have to adjust to as a team is be better rebounders behind a shooter. We're not going to tell them to quit shooting. Um, we need to be better rebounders and get their rebound and put it back in. A shot from you is a pass to me is what they need to think. You guys got a little rock coming up. You know, how do you guys get back on the winning track and get, you know, even in some of those? Well, um, we'll go back to the drawing board tonight. I've been so focused on this team. I haven't watched a lot on Arkansas Little Rock. We, we begin now preparing for them. We'll have a good game plan in the morning to come in here and practice. And um, we got to get this, this losing look off our face and, and get a winning look and, and project a win and go get the win.